Hi everyone, this is Salvatore Babonis, your Unit of Study Coordinator for Sociology 2000 Global Social Problems. And this video is just a quick introduction to how to access your tutorial meeting rooms for the tutorials for our class. Now, of course, we have an all online class and the tutorial meetings are online. So to access your tutorial meeting rooms, uh, just log into Blackboard. Um, your Blackboard will look a little different than mine because I have to view mine uh, using a student preview function, but it should look something similar. And when you get into Blackboard, navigate to the Tutorial Meetings section of the Blackboard site. That's on the left-hand column. Just click Tutorial Meetings. There you'll see a link to this video, but then below it you'll see a link to Enter Your Tutorial Room. That link will bring you to Adobe Connect. All of you should have experience by now logging in with Adobe Connect and just go ahead and log in with your uni key and password. Now Adobe Connect is something of a finicky piece of software so it may be some delay in logging in, it may ask you to uh, allow Adobe Flash, uh, you know, whatever it asks you to do please just click OK and get through to your dashboard. Now when it brings you to the dashboard you won't see a list of all the tutorials like I see here. You should only see a link to your own tutorial. Um, now, I can see all of them because I'm the Unit of Study Coordinator, but when you go in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, your own tutorial time in week three, by that point we should have this uh, locked down so you only see one choice, and that choice is your own tutorial. Now, I'm going to look at a template that is identical to the kind of tutorial rooms you'll have and it may take a moment to log into Adobe Connect it can be very slow please be patient with the software once you log in you'll see a room something like this uh, there is a uh, webcam area of the room a chat box discussion notes uh, there's also a screen sharing facility down here I suggest you don't click on these other buttons or play around with the with the layout. Um, just use the room more or less as it is. The one thing you might want to do is you might want to expand the discussion notes box. So if your discussion notes starts out looking small like this, you can actually grab the edges of these windows and make it bigger so you can see the discussion notes more easily. Most of the action here for our tutorials is going to happen in the discussion notes. Now, to actually interact with each other, uh, I want you to get at least get on audio. To get on audio, you have to click the microphone button, connect my audio, and click allow, and now my audio is online in the room. Uh, if you'd like to appear on webcam as well, I strongly encourage that. You can click start my webcam, or you can come up here to the webcam button and click start the webcam and start sharing. It will offer you to add an add-in. I don't think there's any need to do that. You can just cancel out of that. Okay. And it'll give you a picture of you and your name. That's me. Hi. And we're kind of in a infinite regression paradox that this is me on a video, talking to me on a video, talking to you on a video, etc. Uh, but that's me in the Adobe Connect room. When you connect, uh, you should be able to get on video just as well. And I strongly encourage you to at least to introduce yourselves to each other. Uh, just to say hi. You know, it's nice to say hi and it's nice to know who's in your tutorial. Okay. Um, the biggest mistake people make, the biggest problem we have, is that they turn on their webcam but they don't, don't turn on their audio. So make sure, if no one can hear you, if people are saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, make sure that you click this microphone button so that it is green. Uh, you don't want it to be white, you don't want it to be a crossed off microphone, you want it to be a green microphone uh, showing that you are in fact on audio. Now, if you're having problems connecting and you need to like ask everyone, you know, is there a problem, you can type in the chat box, can you hear me, and you know, someone might answer there, uh, helping you get coordinated. But in general, I strongly recommend you focus on the audio function, not use the chat box for discussions. The actual action of the tutorial is going to happen here in the discussion notes section because it's what you leave in the discussion notes that I'm going to grade you on. And if I go back to Blackboard, you'll see in Blackboard a list of things that I want to see every week in the discussion notes. The date of the tutorial, who's the note taker, you know, sign in, 
assignment one, assignment two, assignment three. So I'm actually going to literally copy this and paste it into my discussion notes. There we go. So I have that uh, kind of template already ready. And the date of the tutorial, for example, if your tutorial is on uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m., would be Tuesday, March, I've got to look that up. Uh, Tuesday will be March 20th, 10 a.m. And that just helps me know, you know who you are, who we're talking about. Now, every week you'll nominate a note taker, and that should rotate week by week. So it's not the same note taker every week. Until everyone's done it once, nobody should do it twice. Okay, so throughout the semester, everyone will do it either once or twice during the semester. Um, and I'd like to see you put the name of the note taker here. So this week's note taker, Salvatore Bobonis. And then attendance, every student should sign in for herself or himself. So here I am in the tutorial this week. Now every week I'll ask you to do several assignments as a group, as a team in tutorial. And if I go to Blackboard for this week, if we go to weekly assignments, week three, you'll see that in week three, in the tutorial materials uh, section of the Blackboard site, first you'll see a link to this video. Now, <laughs> I'm currently recording this video, so the link isn't there yet, but the link will be there by the time you come to do your tutorials. Uh, and then you'll see a series of assignments. So the first assignment, assignment one is, log into your tutorial team meeting room and introduce yourselves. So that's that simple. Assignment one is introduce yourselves. In the discussion notes section, make sure you record your attendance and choose a note taker for the week. So that's the, the first thing I've asked you to do is find a note taker and uh, record your attendance. Okay. But assignment two, assignment two is to pull together the data from last week. That is from the week two tutorial assignment. Now that means all of you have to go back to week two, make sure you've already done the assignment you were assigned to do for tutorial in week two, which was to uh, go to the World Economic Forum's uh, gender database and uh, gender equality database and collect some data. Now, I told you in week two uh, that you could choose any two countries in the world, one rich, one poor, any two countries except Australia and China. And the reason was that I'm using Australia and China. But I'd like you to build a table. So here I've asked you to build a table with every student's data. And again, you know, I'm a big copy and paste sort of person. Uh, I'm just going to copy what's here in the instructions. I'm going to go to the room and assignment one. Well, assignment one is done above. That is the attendance. But under assignment two, well, I'm going to copy and paste the table in. Now, I don't care if tables in these discussion notes look good or not. I'm not grading you on presentation. The discussion notes is not a great place for making tables and things. I just want to see the information. So here we have, you know, Australia is a rich country. The labor force ratio from the World Economic Forum was 0.86. The wage equality ratio was 0.66, and the student who put that information in was Salvatore Babonis. All right, so if you're doing this, you might have chosen a country like Malaysia. That would be a poor country. The labor force ratio would be whatever you found in your research. The wage equality ratio would be whatever you found in your research. And the student entering that information would be whoever you are. You know, ba, bo, su. All right. Uh, and, you know, I'd like to see all of this entered. So by the time you're done, this table is going to have, you know, about 14 rows. It's going to have two rows for every student in this tutorial. Plus, if you want to include it, you can include my row as well. Okay. Now, again, going back to the assignment for this week, I then ask you a question. Overall, do you think the gender gap is larger in rich countries or poor countries? You know, what leads you to the conclusion? Answer in two to three sentences. Now, what I'd like you to do is have a genuine discussion. I mean, you have all this data in your table. You're going to have 14 lines of data about the gender gap, about the labor force participation ratio, and about the wage equality for equal work ratio. 
and you know have a discussion form a, an opinion around that but then whoever is the note taker for the week should take the tutorial team answer and record it here and record it during the tutorial uh, this is not homework for the note taker to do sometime later you know if you guys agree that you know in general the you know level of gender inequality is highest in and you know the note taker should write that answer out right here in front of everybody because we need to get everyone's buy-in on the answer um, and once you all agree you finalize it move on to assignment three uh, assignment three this week is uh, I'll leave it for you to read yourself but you know there it is and it's based on the readings you did for this week okay also at the bottom of uh, this week's tutorial uh, assignment I've included the information about uh, the template for what you should include in each week's tutorial material. Okay. So that's how it goes. When you're finished with your tutorial, you know, you've done uh, all your discussion notes, you've answered assignments one, two, and three, you should spend about 50 minutes, you know, same as an in-person tutorial. Uh, that's the benchmark for how long it should take you to do the group tutorials. Uh, once you're done, log out and you're finished. Just leave that information there in the discussion notes section. What I will do is I'll come around at the end of the week and I will give my comments. So I'll say something like great work and I'll give additional comments on the things you've done and I'll always put my comments in red so that it's clear to you that it comes from me. Um, so if you type, you type in black when I give my comments I'll give them in red. Now, when you log out of the tutorial room, that information will still be there. If you go through 50 minutes and you don't quite finish the tutorial, leave it. Tutorial is 50 minutes long. Um, so it's n definitely not homework for the note taker to finish the tutorial if you guys don't finish it in 50 minutes. But I really expect that you, know, you should be able to do these tutorials in about 45 or 50 minutes uh, each week. If I'm wrong, email me, let me know. You know, I'm happy to reconsider and you know, lighten up or increase the workload uh, to make sure you have 50 minutes worth of material to do. Okay, I hope that's clear. One last thing, um, you know, this is an online class and whenever you're doing online, things go wrong, right? Uh, technology doesn't work, something won't log in, uh, you know, the, the software freezes up, you know, things happen. If something goes wrong, don't panic. Uh, just let it go, something went wrong, send me an email and ask me what to do. And usually what I'll say, if there was a serious problem, I'll say, look, you know, just send me the information you were going to post or uh, I'll give a, you know, an alternative of some kind or I'll work it out with you some way. Um, you know, just bear with things. Uh, you know, I know that the technology doesn't always work for me and so I accept that it won't always work for you. What I do demand is that you make a good faith effort to make it work. You know, give it a good try. Let's learn something. You know, let's get involved here and you know, enjoy the tutorials. So students in prior years have really loved these Adobe Connect uh, tutorial meetings. I hope you will too. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks everyone and good luck with your week three tutorial.